Hello everyone, uh, this is Sarabjit Sidhu and I am having over 13 years ex of experience in clinical research, medical writing and today we are discussing the most requested topic, clinical study report. So, clinical study report is that it is going to tell you the story of the whole trial. So, you planned trial, the first is planned, then it is conducted and during this phase lot of data is collected. Now this data is analyzed and once it is analyzed you are ready to write the CSR. So in short this clinical study report it is going to tell you what all happened in one single trial. So this is going to be very complex document. Now let's understand what it is. So what is clinical study report? Uh, as I told you it is a story of your trial. The very first thing you can check in this that who conducted this study basically who is the sponsor who sponsored the whole trial and why this study was conducted the rationale what was the need of this study you know how this study was conducted design where and where it is conducted how you know how the these study results were analyzed is what SAS programming was used what methods are used how they analyze basically data and what are the results you know in a planning when we are saying that uh, how was the study conducted what was the design right what are the result just an example if it is a phase one you know safety is your goal now in these result is it are the result telling that is it safe yes or no right so that is going to be a part of a clinical study report and finally conclusion like now are they going to say that if it is a phase one study that mm, based on phase one this uh, this test drug is safe or they are going to further say that maybe additional data maybe additional uh, studies are required to be planned to be more conclusive so and that is CSR. Little more on this, it is going to be a very complex document. It's not that straightforward because whatever we have done in the trial, whatever we have done from the day one, suppose your trial was for two years, right? So now in this, all, all the things that you have done in two years, you have to present in the CSR. So definitely it is going to be a very, very complex. So that means a phase one, can be like you know it can vary from like a small CSR like 200 page 300 page or even for the observational study it can be 100, 100 150 pages only but it can be as complex more than 30,000 pages you know for the bigger trial even I don't want to scare you but even for the studies uh, they have multiple sub studies in one study for the sub studies they can have two three CSRs as well so sometime abbreviated CSR is also required to be made but in nutshell it can be small it can be big and but it is a complex document if you are a medical writer if you ever got a chance in a working in a CSR writing it's going to be the best experience now question comes which is are the fundamental to all the clinical research is that is there any guideline from my CH which is followed for CSR writing yes E3 guidance is followed hmm? again remember it is not law it is a guidance like this is how your CSR should be hmm? it is a guidance but sponsors they can you know uh, uh, change the uh, rearrange it the way as per their trial needs right but main guidance should be followed and this is going to be one of the key question in your interview sometime people ask you can you tell me about e3 guidelines then you can simply tell that the csr temp you know uh, these guidelines are about how to write a csr the table of contents are given in e3 guidelines so uh, remember the e3 guideline right so what are the component of CSR if you wanted to say as per E3 guideline only? It should be having title cover hmm? and the synopsis. Synopsis is summary because your document is if 300, 400, 500 pages, the summary is very much part of each and every document like protocol as well. Text and body where you will be mainly discussing 
design, hmm, table, figures and narratives, narratives is all the essays, A's, whichever has, has happened in a clinical trial, you will be presenting in the form of a story. That is your narrative and appendices like your protocol, your ICF, uh, your CRFs. These are very few examples I have given. Those will all come and sit in the appendix section. So now little more on this template. What are the minimum requirement as per E3 guideline, right? The title page. Every The title page is mandatory in all clinical trial document, right? Synopsis or you can say the summary, hmm? introduction, objectives, study design, methods, result discussion, conclusion, references, tables and figure and appendices. Now pay little attention. Uh, like um, do medical writer, they start writing uh, CSR once the results are analyzed? No, they start much ahead of time much ahead of time because if you see this carefully the first part three four five six all these section you can take from a protocol you can take introduction from protocol objective they are going to same study design it will come from uh, your protocol methods this is also known as a skeleton of CSR. The skeleton of CSR writers start preparing ahead of time even when the results are not analyzed. Why? Because to save on the time. Once the results are there, they, you know, there is a timeline. They need to submit the document to the regulatory body. So, so always remember if someone asks in your interview that mock or skeleton CSR can be prepared from the protocol and these sections they directly come from protocol only difference is that they are presented in a past sentence protocol is written in a present but now we are reporting it about which is already happened so past sentence remember that the results and discussion which will be coming from your uh, SAS output buns the tables and the figures they are analyzed you can write the result if your pk study you will be reporting about the pk result then the discussion you know uh, like if you set the goal of pk, um, uh, PK parameters then what you have achieved in that that will be dis discussed conclusions references Tables and figures, they will be attached as such. Individual patient data will be attached as such and in the appendices. Now, as I told you, this is a complex work. There are multiple experts. They are required to be part of a CSR writing. You know, it's not a one man's job. Medical writing team, of course, they are the center. Clinical research operations team, you can say the operations. Hmm? They are going to help clinical pharmacologists, pharmacokinetics, biostats, uh, programming team, hmm, data management team, quality assurance uh, team, drug surveillance team, uh, even publishing team, regulatory affairs, even your other scientists. This list is not all. This is the I have tried to give you a few examples like who become part of a, your clinical study writing part of your team, right? So in nutshell, if I wanted to say you the CSR is it is going to tell you the story of of you clinical trial. Hmm? It is presenting what happened from day one to last day. So when you are submitting your CSR to regulatory body, you are going to tell them that this is all happened in this trial and the, whatever the result achieved in your clinical trial that you present in CSR. CSR the one of the most important document when it comes, right? So I hope this uh, video is quite helpful. I can make other ones as well on this because this is long topic. So thank you so much.